Hi everyone, it's Mark here from Cricket Bat Info and today we've got something different. This has actually been ordered from the UK, came to Australia, let's have a look at it. So thank you very much to Lockie for sending this in, he's from country South Australia and he actually bought this bat through Pro Direct Cricket and he paid $395 delivered. What I've actually done just to help things along is I've just gone to the website to have a look at it. So this is the Grey Nichols UK website. And you can see there 300 pounds, which is about $500. Um, so he's got this delivered for uh, at least $100 under that. So it describes this uh, as cricketers, club cricketers looking for power this summer. Exaggerated middle, huge edges, blah, blah, blah. So bow mid, profile mid, rounded power curve face, mid to high balance point creates for the light pickup. So we'll have a look at all those things here. Um, there is something very interesting about this bat, uh, switching back to it. This is a long handle bat. Firstly, the grip's pretty dirty. It's been handled by everybody, it looks like. So looking under the handle here, this is definitely an Indian made one. Whenever you see letters in squares, that's the Indian made ones there. I had that confirmed by uh, Stuart Kranzbuehler, so that's what you'll see. That's a Y and an A. They've adopted the same strategy that Grey Nichols Australia does where I thought this was a tape, but it's actually a cloth that's glued on. So I thought that was a zinc oxide tape, uh, but I've actually seen it, a photo of it, and it's actually just a loose um, tape with no actual glue on it. The glue is applied to the, ha to the handle and then this is bound on and then the actual binding is added down here. Long handle bats and standard length grips, um, you're always gonna find this, it's gonna be an issue uh, where it could ride up. I tend to use tennis racket over grip underneath the grip and wind that up to both thicken it and that the chamois texture holds the grip in place and it doesn't move. So anyway, that's interesting about the handle itself. Uh, let's talk a bit about the handle. Uh, it does feel like a Grey Nichols handle. It is semi-oval all the way up um, from here to there. It's actually quite a good thickness. Now the bat itself, if you can have a look at that profile, it's very heavily concaved. This is typical of the UK made ones. Um, they tend to prioritise balance and edge size over getting those really, really big full size profiles. In this particular example here, unfortunately, we've got a bit of a bubble here down on the sticker, um, which if you try to press that down, it will probably move. I, don't, I really don't know how you can fix that. Uh, and we've got a little bit of a, a dead knot here. It looks like it's been filled. It's just on the back edge. It does nothing. Um, it's not gonna impact on uh, the bat at all. Now, Lockie actually put the um, fiber scuff on and you can see he's run into a bit of trouble here and it's started to crimp. Um, I personally, and I'm sorry Lucky, I hate fibre stuff and it's only because it stuffs my camera up. You can see just how reflective it is. Um, so that's one thing. Oh, I know the pros like it because it's lighter, uh, but it's horrible to remove. Um, yeah, it does sort of hold the bat together but I don't think it, it does anything uh, better than standard extra tech like GNUs. As far as that there, that's just um, practice, pre-cut those, but I might be able to fix that up for you, mate. Now, grains. Uh, also, when you put these on, it's very hard to see the grains, but I can see them up here. They're faint. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine grains. And they are pretty straight down through. You can see a little bit of a pin knot here. And I cannot see what's going on under here, whether that's a little bit of darkness. I find that the um, Indian made ones, the finishing, it just isn't as good. I, I, like I've been whinging a bit about the Australian made finishing. It doesn't seem to me to be uh, as nice looking as what I've seen. Now, unfortunately in its travel, it's got a little bit of a dip thing that's happened here. That's been bashed around on its way to Australia. I did confirm that with Lockie. I might be able to steam that out. So I'll see if I can fix that up for you. 
and it got a little bit of a dent in the shop. Um, so I'm not sure about this bat, whether this was last seasons, because I know they've got a Gen 1.1 now. So this, this might be last season's bat and it's just been sitting on the shelves and everybody's handled it and put it back down and, and uh, yeah, you've got it on special. Bow, it says there's a bow. Let's confirm that, we'll hold it that way. There's definitely bow in the bat and they call it a mid bow. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I reckon it starts about there. So that's that. Let's put the gauge on it. So it's not filling the gauge. It's probably about 62 centimeters. And it does seem to be wide, uh, as wide as the gauge. So I don't think there's any width issues with it. As far as the concaving in the bat, well, you've seen this on CAs and uh, other bats for years and it just adds balance. I've, I have actually, I actually think there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, some people say, oh, well, it narrows the, the size of the middle and all this type of stuff. I'm yet to, to see that that's actually true. So, you know, the quality of the rebound is going to be about the quality of the wood and the consistency of the press and we will look at that. Now, firstly, I will remark that the, the actual edges have been boned by GN. 16.3, up here at the top of the handle, 37.4, which is good. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be a fairly big looking edge. 37.7, remember this is a long handle bat. Down here, it looks like they've left a fair bit of wood down in the toe for this particular shape, 23.9 and it says it's got a curved face. So we'll see just how, yep, three centimeters. So 29.4. So it definitely does have some um, thickness in the toe, which is good for an amateur cricketer. And you can see by the way the edge curves through here, you're gonna have a nice mid hitting area through here. That's gonna be its strongest points. Not much is gonna happen down here, I don't reckon. Now, the top of the spine, unfortunately, has been bashed in. So um, I'll measure from where it is now. And it's zero, because I didn't turn the thing on, which is actually quite high, 61.5. I reckon it would have been about 62 width. I'll measure up here first. What, what? That says 105.6 at the top. Let's have a look down the bottom here. 106, okay. So it is actually narrow. Okay. So it's about uh, a couple of cent, a couple of millimeters uh, narrower uh, than a normal bat. And I, I think I've seen that in the, in the current grain nickels to try and get that edge looking a bit bigger. Um, I'll measure the back, I might as well while I'm here, just to see. These tend to be handcrafted, I reckon it'll be slightly wider on the back. Mm. Yeah, I did see that through the gauge. It's interesting. Um, I rarely get the English models through, so I've never seen, I think it was the shock wave or anything like that. So I'm actually genuinely happy to see these bats come through. Um, let's see what it actually picks up like. I'll just turn my camera off. So typical of a long handle bat, long blade bat, sorry. Did I say long handle? I mean, no, it's long handle. They can feel a little bit different in the hands. So he must be tall, because this definitely feels like I've got 2.9 to 2.10. Let me do some measurements on that, because I'm just not 100% sure now what I'm actually looking at. So definitely we're looking here, I'll zoom that out, at a long handle, not a long blade. So you can see we've got an extra bit of length there and I reckon the, the blade length is pretty much the same. So what is the standard length of a handle? Uh, just under 30. Whereas this one is 32. Now I said I reckon this felt 2.9 to 2.10. Let's see what it actually weighs. 2.12.6. So the long handle is definitely giving it a, um, a longer lever, making it feel a lot lighter than it actually is. So this is actually a fairly heavy 
piece of willow, high density. It's got nine grains. They're fairly faint. Uh, it's almost like a bleaching effect that they've put on it to make it look so white. Um, it's interesting. I, I probably would have oiled it before I uh, put the scuff on to, to bring sort of more character out in that wood. How does it actually tap up like? Let's move all this out of the way. So it's mid. So around there is its hitting area. And it feels like it's going to go a little bit down here once it's played in, but it, it's brand new. Um, I would actually recommend Lockie get rid of this and oil it and knock it in properly and you'll get a lot more life out of it but everyone's different it feels a bit a bit hollowy and i think that's to do with the concaving it just sort of gives it that hollowy tone you've got there so interesting but yeah thank you very much Lockie for sending that in he's posted that in and his own thing i'm going to do a little bit of a clean up on there for him to say thank you and, uh, we'll see if that goes back with that same scuff sheet may not i'm not sure it's really excellent that i get supported by you the viewers sending in the bats uh, you're paying that transportation thing and i do appreciate that this has been Cricket Bat Info and we'll have more Cricket Bats coming at you over the next few months. And uh, I hope you stick around and do subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one.